is me So much pride on me, I'm a prodigy I'ma do my thing, no apology Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Here's another Mogul Monday segment for you guys this time doing something a little bit different with Harry's Bookstore located in Fishtown in Pennsylvania. So I hope you enjoy this interview. We get to the nitty gritty of how she started her bookstore and where she come from and the history. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Of Harry's Bookstore located in Fishtown on Gerard Avenue. So I'm just going to get jumped right in. So I know you've heard this plenty of times. Why did you pick uh, Fishtown for your location? Um, okay, so Fishtown was an accident. I did not pick Fishtown on purpose. I didn't seek to be in Fishtown. <laughs> um, my, the reality of the situation is that I it was trying to get somewhere. I really thought I was going to be in West Philly. I wanted to be down the bottom, which is a place where I worked for a really long time. Doors were just closing, closing, closing. There was no yeses. Um, and then this woman said yes. I came in here. This building looked this place looked very different at that time. It was purple, the walls were purple oh. and gray. It was very ugly, um, but I could see what it could be. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I told her, I kicked it to her what I thought um, my idea would be, and she hesitantly said yes. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, at first she was very hesitant. So when she came, in the beginning she was hesitant. Then when she came um, a few months later, she was just like, Oh, okay, yeah, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do. And so that's how I was able to get the basement done and the backyard done, because mm -hmm. after she saw the vision, yeah, that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, sometimes your vision is for you, you know, right. and then, like, slowly people will understand what it is that that's you're trying to say. At least a, a couple months, it doesn't take her a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. So you're originally from Virginia. I am. Mm -hmm. What made you pick Philadelphia? Um, again, another similar story <laughs> oh, where okay. my, I didn't want to come here. I didn't have, I've never been to Philadelphia. My very best friend in the world since I was eight years old um, wanted to come here. So we drove up after school. We would drive to Philly all the time after school. Um, we were crazy. So we were 17. <laughs> the gas was 99 cents. We, mm. we would drive from Philly to from Virginia to Philly. We'd stay here all night. We'd stare at City Hall. We'd imagine the world. Um, and then we'd drive mm. back to Virginia and go straight to school the next morning. Wow, we did that oh, over wow. and over. Yeah, we was doing some stupid High stuff. School. We were stupid. We had all the energy. I was like, I wish I would have saved my energy. But um, <laughs> yeah, so she came up here. She wanted to go to school here. She took me to her open house. I was there just doing what I do, talking to people. <laughs> um, and the guy that I was talking to happened to be the dean of a new department. And he was like, walk with me, talk with me. Him and I ended up talking all day. Um, and he was like, you should apply to my program. It's brand new. You should apply, see what happens. It was May. I was like, who gets into school in May? I'm good. He was just like, just apply, see what happens. I apply, I get in. Um, my friend doesn't get in. Oh. So um, we both have to figure out what do we do now, right? So we both still ended up coming to Philly. She went to CCP, went on to Temple, um, and I went to the University of the Arts. So that's how oh, I ended cool. up in Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh, was it nice there? You liked it there? Um, you know, it was there was a lot of good things about it, yes, and then there are some things that I my, <laughs> I had my critiques, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's in our part of downtown. <laughs> yes, So, yes. that's cool. It was very cool. <laughs> yeah, very cool. The location was cool. The, the teachers were super cool. Um, being around artists all day and, like, having an opportunity to just be a creative is very mm -hmm. good. Um, you know, but it wasn't a lot of black folks there. Oh, yeah, and that was something that, you know, not a lot of community effort there yeah. right there's a lot of folks that were really into themselves and doing yeah. and like their art and so you know critiques but and overall i had a great experience i got two degrees from that school okay yeah wow you don't mind me asking what's your degree in uh, so i have one degree in digital um it's, it's social advertising is what they called it back then um and then my other degree is in education oh that's really good yeah. did that make you inspire you to open a bookstore in the education part you know, I think it's always all been connected. When I was at the University of the Arts, I had applied to have a club called Positive Minds. My okay. application didn't go through. Mm -hmm. um, and so we started selling books out front in front of the school. Oh, like, so yeah. this like is not, books. yeah, we would sell books that we knew that weren't being sold at the bookstore. Mm -hmm. um, so it's funny how it all comes full circle. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to someday have a bookstore, mm -hmm. but it does make sense. It does make sense. It does make sense. A bookstore. Mm -hmm. So, um... What makes it stand out, stand out besides it being like on um, here? What do you think makes it stand out from the other bookstore? Like they had the other one down Germantown. Mm -hmm. uh, Uncle Bobby's. Uncle Bobby's. Yeah. Uncle Bobby's and yeah. everything like that. So mm -hmm. it makes sure it stand out from them. 
Um, I think we have, there are a lot that we have in common, and I love that, right? We, I, I consider the bookstores to all be my bookstore cousins, um, <laughs> right? Because there's things that you can do at Harry's that you can't do, you know, and, and right. vice versa. Uh, our mission is to celebrate women authors, women artists, women, women activists, so we're very specific in that way. Um, and it's not to say that there are only women authors here, but it's mostly women authors, mostly black women authors. Uh, and I, that was just something I'd never seen before, and so I'm glad that we were able to... Um, bring it to life yeah. at the time that we pitched it people thought it was stupid and that it didn't make sense and you know black people don't read and you know right. black women ain't gonna come in there to shop or what about men and all of these every reason in the world why people could think black something. people don't read the, 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 you know a lot from the pit of hell right, right. And so crazy. um yeah so it's i think it, in its own way it has its own unique qualities uh but i would ask the customers you know what do y'all think is yeah what do y'all think is unique about it so what do you think was like your biggest obstacle when you open up like, or were trying to open up? Um, lots of obstacles. You know, we opened February 1st. We were shut down March 15th. So we, we've only known obstacles. We've only known, okay. we've only been around through the pandemic. We've only known the problems of the pandemic. So that's why people ask me, you know, like, well, you know, how is the bookstore doing? I'm like, well, we don't, we don't know what our normal is yet. Right. We're still trying to figure out what normal looks like. Because right. we've been on it. Yeah, we've been on a trip. roller coaster. Yeah. yeah it's crazy. Yeah, this whole trip is up and down right now. Yeah, I mean, and then the whole country is up and down. So it's like, it's hard to figure out what's sure, going yeah. to happen, right? Like, are we going to have another shutdown? Um, are people going to get wild after the election? Are people going to, you know, like, there's a lot of possibility. Is it going to, is, the, is, are we going to have another spike? We don't know. Yeah, yeah we don't know. Well, how was your uh, story with the uh, riots and stuff? You guys were okay. We were okay. Um, they did march up and down here with the bats. That was that was over here where they were doing that and yelling profanity. Wow. Um, but lots of folks from the community came and stood out front of the bookstore. Oh, okay. I slept here for night after night, like oh, like not not today, Satan. <laughs> um, it just wanted my presence to be known. Like yeah, if somebody's gonna be stupid, I'm in here, right? Like, right. Um, and we we nothing. We didn't have any issues. That's so good. That's yeah. that's a blessing. It's a lot of scary stories out there with that. Yes, yes. And I was, I mean, I was really like, I was in here like, I don't know what could happen. Mm -hmm. um, folks have told me like, you know, this would be a great place for people to target because you're in the middle of a community that um, is is complicated, mm -hmm. to say the least. This area is really complicated yeah. to not be successful in, but it had a, a bad rep mm -hmm. for African Americans trying to open up some business yeah. down here. Mm -hmm. but that's why everybody probably actually went and like, why? Right, 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 right. Or whatever, but that's probably why. Yeah, um, I mean, a lot of people told me, don't come down here. I mean, when I came to Philly, like, they was like, you can go up North Philly, you can go up 26th and Diamond, you could go, you know, you could go into Logan, do not come to Fishtown, because they they beat people with bats down there, especially black people. Right. Um, and so it's just, you but know, that was... But just having a bad time there, too. Right, so. I mean, and I think it's also just the time, right? Yeah. Like, so people are feeling very... Um, people are extreme and emboldened to hate mm -hmm. in this moment and so in this you know that so it becomes like well where can I have what outlets can I take out yeah. my vengefulness on it's like a competition it's really yeah so I know you're you opened up in the middle of a pandemic yeah but um do you see yourself possibly open up other locations um yes I do I think that I don't know what's to come right and so whatever is declared and decreed is what will be but it would be really dope for us to have um, to open up, you know, we want to open up an Ida's for Ida Be Well. We want to open up a Fanny's for Fanny Lou Hamer. Right. We want to make, exactly, we want to make sure that um, we continue building monuments for the, the women, the black women that we hold to be dear, and who don't have monuments in this country, right? Like, folks don't realize that Rosa Parks, Rosa Parks, a, a national treasure of a human being who did so much for all of us and is touted about died very poor, right? And, like, did not have all of the basic, no, like, folks that. had to, right, folks had to come and, like, her rent was behind, like, and not to, and this, is like, so she, there was one quote that I read, um, I think her niece wrote, and it was saying, you know, if people had known the true story of who I was, they would have, they would have done more about it, right, and so it's like, you know, we get to celebrate the folks who came before us in the ways that we want to celebrate them, and not wait for somebody else to do it, that's not their job. Yeah, that's crazy, I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm full of parts, so I learned yeah. something. Yeah, Um, so do you have any advice for anybody that's trying to open up their, their own business, or, um, even in this area or anything with learning, because yeah. it's 
like, come, come down to Fish Town. Like, we, yeah, come down to Fish Town. First of all, there was an article that came out that said that, you know, oh, three black women owned businesses in Fish Town, and that was like a big deal. This was before oh, the wow. pandemic really was in full, you know, hit fully. And I was like, three? Mm-hmm. You know, like, three is making folks excited. So, right, yeah, right. like, so we get to, um, we get to be everywhere. The earth is our home. We can be anywhere we want to be. We don't have to relegate ourselves to certain neighborhoods or certain communities. We can be anywhere we want to be. Um, and so, you know, I would say listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut. And if it's telling you to do something, consider it. Yeah, it's crazy out here. Yeah. So, I mean, and like time is of the essence. We don't know how long we have. Right. You know, no man knows the hour kind of thing. Especially with 2020. Yeah. yeah. So it's like if there's something you sure. want that you feel called to do, like, see what happens. Yeah, this is where I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's right. So what do you think is next for you? Like you alone with your family or anything mm-hmm. like that? Yeah, I'm writing right now. I'm okay. trying to figure out how to balance being a business owner and a writer, um, being a business owner and an artist. The two things sometimes um, compete with one another because mm-hmm. they both require a lot of attention. Yeah. And um, But ideally, I will get my next book completed and move on from there. Okay. Yeah. yeah writing, trust me, I, I write as well. Yeah. I have writers all the time, yeah. but I do write it down. Yeah. I'm going to have an idea and I do <laughs> come something back else. to it. Yeah. And I'll come back to it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I've been trying to do this YouTube thing. It's yeah, like my, my baby right now. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, once you feel called to do it, we all all of a sudden have all this different time on our hands. We all get to see like what is important and what's not important. Yeah. Um, you know, I think a lot of folks got that realization through the pandemic. Yeah. Right? Like folks who were killing themselves for jobs that then like right. let them go. You know, it's yeah. just like yeah. So we're we get to for the job and then you know right. we're there, but yeah. people are adjusting to work from home too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Just saying, you know, like, just, if there is something that you feel called to do, like, I think sometimes your calling is bigger than you, right? And so sometimes you get into feeling, well, what about this, and I, and I, and I, and I'm like, yeah, the bookstore was not really about me, right? right? It was about me listening to something bigger, and then, like, ushering in a lot of other thoughts, and I think it's inspired other people, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely, yeah. It's really cute in here, it's nice, you You have a nice location, like, it's not, when people think Fishtown, they think, right in the heart of the white people yeah. and stuff like yeah. that but it's really not as what people what is it I guess guess what it would be yeah. when you say fish town mm-hmm. so yeah I'm not gonna lie when you said fish town I was like okay yeah. you know, get out the no car, people have been like that yeah and, like I, that. and I think that that's why I continue to say like the earth is our home mm-hmm. and you know, we we've been in this, we have like I, we've been in this country for however long. Mm-hmm. We have as much right to any part of it as anyone else. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, there's no way that you're gonna relegate me to any place, right? I'm gonna be wherever I want to be, and um, and I'm bring folks with me. Right. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Well, I thank you so much yeah, for that interview. Yeah, of course, Ashley. I know you're so busy. Yeah, I'm yeah. Busy, but, <laughs> but I thank you so much yeah. for taking the time out to talk to this. Interview. Of course, and thanks for coming this down. This is part of my Mobile Monday seg- segment, so uh-huh. it should be up probably in a couple of weeks okay. once I edit and everything. Okay. But yes, thank yeah. you so much. Of course, of course. All if right. you need anything else, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for you guys for listening to my Mogul Mondays for Harriet's Bookstore. And I hope you guys like and subscribe. Thank you.